Okay, what are the parts of a computer? Everybody has heard the word CPU, Central Processing Unit. The CPU is the brains of the computer. That's where all the real work occurs, or most of the work at least. The CPU is made up of millions of transistors. Back in the very old days, the beginning of computers, we started out using vacuum tubes, and of course it was reduced in size dramatically, starting to use transistors. Transistor is, in effect, a switch. That's all that it basically is. Throughout our discussion, we'll constantly talk about zeros and ones. The reality of the internal computer architecture is that we use high voltage and low voltage to represent Boolean values, logical values, zeros or ones. We won't spend a lot of time in the mechanics or the electronics of what's going on, but just understand that when we talk about zeros and ones, we're really talking about high voltage, low voltage, or a way of representing data one way or the other. Now, inside the CPU, and the CPU chip itself is a package. You may have looked inside a computer and you see a square chip thinking that's the CPU, but actually, if you pull the layers off and you have to destroy the chip to do this, you'll find that the CPU is actually very, very tiny. The reason that the chips that we see on a day-to-day -day basis are so large that they fit in your hand, they're so large just because we have to have enough wires and connectors to get inside the actual package. So remember that the chip itself is tiny extremely small inside those layers of silicone.